Hey guys, Stickers here with EYS Gamers. Got a quick tip tutorial for you today on MX Simulator with the track editor. I've had a lot of requests for this lately for uh, just tips and tricks as far as what I'm learning. Uh, I want to start off by saying I am not a professional at the editor. I am brand new to it. So what I'm showing you, I am learning in progress. So if you uh, have any problems with it, let me know. I'll see if I can help you out. But uh, it's all going to be pretty much just... Uh, what I'm learning, and if I have, if I figure out a new technique later on, I'll go back and edit the video. But for now, it's pretty much just uh, pretty straightforward. All right, so here we go. Now I'm assuming you've already got your blank track and everything laid out. So this is going to be a quick tip tutorial for for making berms. Uh, so we're going to go to new race, and I've already set up a uh, blank track to call tutorial. Go ahead and get this loaded up. Alright, so hit tab and get into your editor. First thing I like to do before I do any, any editing is I like to go through and I like to get the tile map changed to um, to all grass. And then I go through and I can add my track. Uh, so we'll go ahead and erase all of this. Zoom back in. I usually zoom in to about 2.5 is where I do most of my editing. Um, and then I keep uh, the radius... Uh, for track making, right around 50, 55, somewhere in there. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change our tile back to to dirt. Um, and what I'm going to do for this tutorial is I'm just going to go ahead and just make two corners. So we're just going to make a left-hander into a right-hander. Uh, now this is just this is going to be real rough. Uh, this is basically assuming that you already have everything laid out the way you want and you just need some help with the berms um, and again this is all um, stuff I'm doing on the fly so uh, like I said if there's any uh, updates to this later on I will go back and edit this video and make it a little or and smooth it out and update it anyway so uh, go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and make these a little straighter so it's easier to to, to do it alright so once we get once we get our, our uh, track laid out the way we want it. First thing uh, we'll do is we'll go over here to gradient placement and then click on new gradient. So we're going to drop this down here, this gradient, and you're going to drag it to the corner that you want. So you want it to, I like to keep mine straight, so you want it to be about the width of your track here. Go ahead and zoom in. I like to do all my editing zoomed in very, very tight, so um, that's kind of a two each his own type of thing. So what we're going to do, um, this, the part of the gradient with the start point with the little T on it is the start and then the outside. So when you do your edit, it's going to be mirrored here. So what you do here is going to be right in this area and so on and so on. So if we want to make an inside line, we just go down here and add, we'll just add a small little bump uh, about like so. And then if you, for your outside line, uh, same thing. You can you can make these as simple as you want, or you can make them as complicated as you want. I find for me simple is best. So one way you can do it is you can make a little a little triangle like this, or you can make them a little more uh, steep. I like to do the outside ones steep, and then when I smooth them out, it gives them that nice sweeper feel. So that's pretty much. These are going to be really tall, by the way. Um, so actually, we'll uh, we'll make this one a little smaller. And then what you're going to do is once you get this set up. Um, you're going to go over here to um, radial add and this is going to add it off of your brush so rather than just doing a linear add where it just makes it a straight line in this area which is how most people do their jumps uh, you're going to go to radial add and then um, adjust your radius to however big you want it I like to do it so when I'm doing the outside line it's not too big that it cuts into the inside line so I can do each one separate so we'll shrink this down just a hair. So as you drop this, <clears throat> it's going to square it off. So you, how it makes it straight like that, it's not going to make a full circle. So uh, you want to get it to where it's just about at the straight part, and then bring it all the way down. And then you can get to your straight exit like that. Now you're going to go through and add your second line, which is in here. Oh, that was too big. Oh, whoops. Just do it again, I guess. So there's the outside line. We'll zoom in, make this a little easier. Now we're going to do our inside line. Uh, 
All right, so that end is a little out a little bit, so I'm going to... So anyway, so then what you're going to do here is once you get it placed, um, go ahead and, and smooth it out. Uh, for me, I like to do the strength of the smooth at 2. Um, it depends on how much you want to knock it down. Before I do that, I want to show you what it looks like. Of course, I have to wait for the start gate. But as you can see um, from here, you can even see that it's, it's very rough. The, the tops of the berms are going to be very sharp. So that's why you want to smooth them out, is you want to get rid of that jagged edge. So two things you might notice right away is you have a square... I don't know if you can see my cursor, but right here on the outer side you have a square edge, and then likewise with the inside rut, same thing. You can see how rough they are, so we're going to smooth them out. So go ahead and get your smooth tool, and then I have, like I said, I have mine set on two. And you're just going to go in here and just run the length of the berm and smooth that sucker out. Uh, same thing for the inside line and then we'll jump back down and show what it looks like. So now they're a lot smoother. You still have a little bit of a knuckle here on the outside berm. So you want to make sure you play with that with the smudge tools. So there's your nice smooth berm. And that's a full 180 degrees. There's your inside. Now the, the inside lines I'm struggling with, I'm trying to find a good technique that's how I've been doing them as of late. So now we'll jump onto this next corner and show you how to do a 90 degree turn. And it's pretty much the same thing. So you're going to go over to your gradient placement, go new gradient. The only difference is you're going to go from the corner rather than from the center. So you're going to go about like that. Go gradient edit. And the easiest way I've found to do these ones is you just drop something kind of in the center and then just taper it up. And then go to your linear ad, or your radial add, and then now you have a little bit more control of it. You can sweep it out here, and then as it starts to square off, you can just kind of tuck it in right where your track is. And now, if you notice, it's square, so you want to make sure you come all the way in to the full length of your your gradient edit, so that it's smooth. Now we're going to go ahead and smooth it out. Be careful that you don't go over your other objects because it will smooth those out as well. And that's what it looks like in first person. So that one was a little bit bigger, uh, but it gives you a good idea of you know, how you do them. That was a little better smooth, so. Then you can go through and add inside ruts, but your gradient edit is basically your friend when it comes to making those berms. Uh, it, it just smooths them out so much, so much easier, and it's easier to add the inside lines and the outside lines. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and feel free to message me or... Uh, just leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it. If you have any other suggestions for quick tip tutorials that you'd like to see uh, with MX Sim, let me know and I will do my best to get them out. Uh, like I said, I'm still a beginner at this, so I'm learning along with you. So um, just be patient with some of this stuff and uh, we'll see what we can get done. I wish you the best of luck. This was Stickers with EYS Gamers. Take it easy.